kind of a video. Usually, I love getting my boxy charms and my pop sugar boxes, and each one would be their own video, and it would be a big unboxing. Well, this month, it just didn't work out that way. We were literally in the car, ready to leave, pulling out of the driveway to go out of town, when my mail carrier showed up and put both of my boxes in my hands. And once I was uh, up north, there's no internet connection, I'm completely cut off, and now other people have already put up unboxings. It just seems a little late to be doing an unboxing when most of you have already seen the contents. So instead, what I did this weekend was I actually used these products, and I'm going to do an unboxing slash review of everything. So I will start with the Boxy Charm box, which has, looks like this inside, and the card it came with said, Summertime Radness. Um, let's see, this July we're bringing the heat to you, so keep it cool, grab your bathing suit, and let's lounge by the pool, because we got that summertime radness. So, and once again, I've got all the descriptions on the back. The first thing that was in the Boxy Charms box is the I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. And I had just received this exact bottle in a FabFitFun box. And I've used it already, and it, it does a good job of detangling near my hair. So, because I have very fine hair, so after I wash it and towel it dry, it, it's, it's pretty tangled. So this did a really good job of putting some spritzes on and detangling it. I will say you have to be very, very careful because the first time I used it, I overused it. And once my hair had dried and was styled, you know how your hair feels when you don't get all the conditioner out and you're like, oh man, I gotta do my hair again, I didn't get all the conditioner out. That's what this did the first time I used it. The second time I used it, I used a smaller quantity. It still detangled and it didn't give me that, that greasy over conditioned feel. However, I don't really think this is doing anything amazing for my hair. So, you know, it was okay. The next thing was a brush in the Boxy Charms brush, or the box, and it's a very soft brush. It's kind of small though, so they're calling this like a blush brush or a, like a powder brush. Um, personally, I would rather use my Real Techniques ones because they're a little bit larger and I feel like you get better coverage. But the brush handle itself is very well made. It has a nice barrel here, and the bristles are very soft. It's a synthetic brush, so it, it was a nice brush. This, I am surprised at how much I like this. This was the Greater Than MDM Flow Mascara, and I took my Tarte Mascara with me, but like I said, I literally got this as I was walking out the door, so for every day that we were out of town, I used this mascara. And I have to say, I was really impressed with it. It didn't irritate my eyes, and it did a really nice job of giving you nice individual lashes. I don't think this lengthens as much as the Tarte uh, Lights Camera Flashes lengthens, but this actually clumps a little less than the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. So I actually would recommend this mascara. I was really, really pleased with it. In fact, I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I'm not really zoomed in that close, but I really like the mascara. I was really pleased with this. The next thing I have here is my Ofra Lip Liner. And the Ofra Lip Liner came in a red color, which I was actually really happy to get. The last couple of months, Boxy Charms has been sending lipsticks in colors that I just, I don't wear, or my skin tone, I can't pull it off. I wear a lot of red lipsticks. I love red lipstick. So to get a good quality lip liner in a color that I will be happy to wear was a score. I was really happy to get this one. All right. And then the next thing in here was the Your Minerals from by Sweden. And I admit I did not use this one. I meant to use it and I forgot all about it. But it's just a transparent mineral veil. And I've used a product similar to this in the past. And I do like these. They give you a very, very light coverage and they just kind of set your foundation in place. So these are always a very good thing to have. So out of everything in this box, everything was good. 
Um, except for me, the George I'll Make You Look Amazing spray. Um, this was the only thing that was a eh. Otherwise, I liked everything in the box. The MDM Mascara is, they have here 21 pounds, but I remember seeing on the emails that this translated into $28 US. So this is a $28 mascara, which I really like. The brush is $29. The George I'll Make You Look Spray it's Amazing Spray is $29.95. The Ofra Lip Liner is $13. And the Mineral Veil was $26. And so again, that's a that's well over a hundred dollars for twenty-one dollars a month. So Boxy Charms, I love my Boxy Charms. I, I'm always pleased with something in there. And like I said, this month I liked four out of the five products. So and I used the products. They all worked really well, except for the spray. Now I'm going to move on to my Pop Sugar box, which, as you can see, it's been open because I've used the products in here. And real quick, I will read the card. Here was the July card. What inspired us for July? Beach days, easy travel, summer heat, 4th of July stripes. All right. And the first thing in here is the Henry Bendel, they call it a dop kit. Honestly, I would just really call it a makeup bag. The reason that they call it a dop kit though is because it does this. And a lot of uh, men's dop kits, they do that, the big wide open mouth. This is a really good quality bag. The inside is water, uh, water plastic lined, so you won't have to worry about spills. Now, I could honestly say if this was my only makeup case I was taking, it's too small for that. Um, I put a few things in here just to see what I could fit in here, and it doesn't hold a lot. So maybe if I were going to the beach and I was just taking like a small conditioner, um, some deodorant wipes and some little travel sizes for a beach bag. This would be perfect. But to actually like go on a vacation, like I'm going to Chicago in a couple of days, this is way too small for me for this to be everything I needed for Chicago. So it, it's an adorable bag though. I'm a big fan of Harry Bendel. Um, I love his stuff. And this was $28. Okay. You have the little blue handle. Very cute. The next thing in here I loved. Um, I have very sensitive skin. This did not make me break out, so that's a win. This is Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary by Supergoop with a broad spectrum sunscreen of SPF 50. We were up north, we were outside, we were on the lake, we were quadding in the woods. It was really hot. We were up north on the hottest day of the year so far. And this stuff, it's a setting spray. You have to give it a good shake to blend up the ingredients because one of the ingredients in here is like a cornstarch. So this was, this is how you get that matte finish. And then you would just spray it on your face. And it takes just a couple of sprays. It goes on a little damp. So I just kind of took my hands and finished like blotting it in so that I didn't mess up my makeup, but it dried it. I did not sunburn with this stuff. My makeup didn't smear. It doesn't have a strong odor or anything. Um, well, to me, this was the best item in the box. I absolutely love this stuff and I will never be without it come summer vacation. I just recently bought the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and I was just bragging about how much I love the MAC setting spray and I do love it but there's no SPF in that setting spray. So to me, this is better than the MAC. So yeah, I, I was really love this product. It worked amazing for me. The next thing in here is Yes to Blueberries. And again, this actually was great timing because I was out of wipes. Um, I was taking up like my uh, First Aid Beauty cleanser but I really was out of wipes to take up north. I forgot to grab a little travel pack. So the timing was perfect. So I've been using these. I've used these in the past and I think everyone would agree that whether you're using the yes to cucumbers, yes to blueberries, yes to carrots, these are always really great wipes and um, they, they do a really great job. And then the price, whoops, sorry about that. The price of the Super Goop was $28. And then the price of the Yes 
to blueberries is $5.99. The next thing in here is a little card holder. What is with me? All right, take two. The next thing in here is a little card holder from Sorel, or Sorel, I'm not sure which way to pronounce that. And this card holder is $28. And now we received a little blue wallet from them in November. I didn't like the wallet. It was too small to be useful. It, the chain was, the, the, the strap was a chain. I just thought it was really kind of cheap and a little bit tacky. I didn't like it. But surprisingly, I really like this. Um, it's just big enough to like put your driver's license in one side and then on the back you have these two little slots here so you can put like a credit card and then maybe even like you know if you're going somewhere like forty dollars like two twenties and the other one and this is actually darling for fitting in a little teeny tiny clutch for going out at night time so I like this I really really do I know there was a lot of comments on YouTube and on some different blogs that you know, oh, this was this is dumb. They didn't like it. I I think this is absolutely adorable and very practical. And this is something I will actually use a lot. So, and then there is a code to use if you want to purchase something off of the Sorio website. It's the code is must have twenty five. So here's twenty five dollars for your next Sorio purchase. Use code must have. 25. Let me give that a minute to focus. And again, if you want to check out and see what they have, feel free to use that code because I love sharing coupon codes whenever I have the chance. And in fact, wasn't there? No, apparently not. Okay, next thing in the Pop Sugar box are three cards from Hallmark. And these are the Signature Distinctly Hallmark Distinctly You. And I love cards from Papyrus. I think they just make the most beautiful cards. And to me, these cards really resemble more of a Papyrus card. So maybe, maybe Hallmark's trying to get into a fancier line. So first card is Hello Beautiful. And this has got a big, thick cl plastic shell on it. So, and I think it might be blank inside. So you can put whatever message you want in there. This is actually really pretty. I'm thinking about maybe using it in my office and not even sending it as a card to anyone. Okay, the next one is a happy birthday card. And inside it says, a friend like you should be celebrated with or without a birthday. And then the last card in here is a bride to be. And the inside of the card says, congratulations on your happy news. So definitely fancier cards. Um, in fact, the prices on these are pretty high. $4.99 for the wedding dress, $7.99 for the Hello Beautiful, and $4.99 for the birthday card. So if you were buying these at, at the store, they'd be pretty expensive. And then two more things in this box. The next thing... I love this. This is great. Um, this was the Pop Travel Toothbrush, and it runs on a AAA battery inside, and I don't know if you can hear it. It really did an amazing job brushing your teeth, because I have an electric toothbrush here at the house, but for traveling, I just have a traditional toothbrush, because I don't want to take my big bulky power one with me. This was amazing. It really was great. So it works perfectly. I love how sanitary and how compact it is. And they even give you a second brush head so that way when this one wears out you can replace it with a clean fresh one. So I like this. I really really like this. And I used it every day that I was out of town. And now let's see here. Uh, the Hallmark guest the Hallmark cards total was $14.97. The Yes to Blueberries was $5.99 and the Pop Dental Portable Toothbrush was $19.99. And the very last thing in the box is the Good Bean. 
And this is a fruit and no nut bar. And this is in chocolate berry with chickpeas, dark chocolate, red, and blueberries. And I'm going to have to try this. I'll be totally honest. Chickpeas? I don't know what this is going to taste like. It'll probably be yummy because these bars usually kind of all taste the same anyway. So I will have to give that a try. And the, the good bean no nut bar is $1.99. So the grand total for the pop sugar box, 60, 90, minus 6, so 84, 94, 104, 110, 125. It's almost like a, if you added, it's almost like $128 for all the contents in this box. And I really thought this was a great box. Very practical, work like a charm, work like a charm, the super goop. I will use this this weekend going to Chicago. Um, I will even use this for traveling this weekend. So, yeah, Pop Sugar, you did an amazing job this month. You really, really did. So, that is everything I received in my Boxy Charms and my Pop Sugar. Uh, for the most part, I really liked all the products, they were really, really great. If you want to see more from me in the future, click that subscribe button. And if you thought this video was good, please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you later.